Welcome back to Matt's Garden Life. This is part two of the fig propagation video that I did a few weeks ago. I started this bin of cuttings on January 24th and another one on the 25th. Today is February 17th. Between the two bins there are 104 cuttings in total. Eight of the 140, 104 are not showing roots at this point. And that's an above 90% rooting, which I consider success. The cuttings that aren't showing roots are still viable and haven't dried out yet, so I will just be patient with them. This is normal for some cuttings to take a little longer than others. Of the cuttings that are showing roots, about 56 of them have enough roots and leaf growth to start the transition to the outside weather and sunlight. This is the bag that I pushed the temperature probe through. The temperature control for the heating pad uses this to read the temperature in the bin. I set the temperature from about 77 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I wouldn't advise going over that too much because you run the risk of killing your plants. I like to inspect the bags for moisture because these were an enclosed bin. They were getting some moisture in the bag above the soil where the cutting is at. This is not ideal as it can grow mold on the upper part of your cutting. I cut the bags and folded them down to prevent them from molding. And when the cutting has roots and leaves, they will start to utilize the moisture in the bag and the soil will start to dry out. The soil mix will become lighter in color and also lighter in weight when they start to dry out. There are two methods that I like to use to add water when needed. One way is to use a pump sprayer to spray some water in the top after loosening the rubber band and the other way is to poke a few holes in the bottom of the, the bag and dip it into a bucket of water. I don't prefer one method over the other. They are both pretty simple and effective. When I noticed a good amount of leaf growth along with roots, I turned the lights on in the bin and before the lights were turned on, the leaf growth looked very light colored and almost a pale yellow. After a few days of being exposed to the lights, they started to green up very nicely thanks to some photosynthesis. Fun fact, you can also use that word with friends and family if you want to get them to stop talking to you. If there are leaves and no roots showing, I will try to keep that cutting in the dark to encourage some root growth. These lights are just some that I ordered off of Amazon. They are T5 2200 lumen super bright LED bulbs. They come with these brackets that I use to fix them to the underside of the lid. I used a rivet gun on these, but nuts and bolts would work fine too. Another thing to remember is to pluck any little baby figs that are trying to grow on your cuttings. It's not time for them to fruit at this stage. It's time for them to put energy into roots and leaves. And when transitioning any plants from the stable inside environment to the outside, you must take precautions and do it gradually. Never put them in full sunlight right away. Slowly introduce them. The first few days put them in the morning sun for a few hours and then afternoon shade. I will usually up pot the cuttings to a tree pot or a one gallon before I put them in full sun all day. When the cuttings are filling out the one gallon pot or your tree pot, you can then up pot them to something larger or move them into the ground depending on what your goals are. Thank you for watching. Look out for my next videos coming up on up potting, dealing with fungus gnats, and some grafting. If you have questions, want to order some engraved tree tags, feel free to email me. Thank you.